All right, so we're gonna take a look at CloudFront. So CloudFront is used as a CDN, a content distribution network. And the idea here is let's say you have uh, files, uh, static files or video files that you want to share uh, across the world, but you want those uh, to load as quickly as possible and uh, make the shortest route to the end user. And that is where uh, CloudFront, which is a content, content distribution network comes in. So it's going to uh, take uh, whatever your static content is, and it's going to uh, then um, copy it to multiple edge locations around the world. And so when someone tries to access your content, it's going to go to that nearby edge location uh, as, as opposed to going really far away to get that content. So let's make our way over uh, to CloudFront here. So just drop down services and type in CloudFront, okay? And uh, we will make our way over here. And we're going to need to create ourselves a distribution and we'll just get started here. And I want you to drop this down and just choose that S3 uh, bucket that we created, okay? Um, and pretty much all the settings here are totally fine. So we're just gonna go uh, down below here and create that distribution. Okay, and creating distributions take uh, quite uh, some time to uh, to happen. But the idea there is, remember how I uploaded that one file to my uh, bucket there? So what this distribution is gonna do, it's going to copy that file and then move it to all those servers around the world uh, so that now my content is uh, super fast, okay? Um, and just like Elastic Load Balancer, um, where it had a DNS um, uh, name where you could hit it like a domain name to access uh, those instances, CloudFront is similar. So here we have a domain name here. So your traffic would hit this domain name uh, and then it would then route your traffic to the nearest uh, edge location, okay? So uh, that's all there really is to it here. Uh, distributions take a really long time to create, so um, we don't really need to uh, wait for this to uh, complete. So I'm gonna just disable this here, okay? And it's going to just disable, and once it's disabled, you can delete it. Even if you don't delete it, it's not gonna cost you uh, anything here because it will be disabled. Um, but yeah, once it's done disabling, you can go ahead and select it and then delete it, all right? So that's CloudFront.